Hello internet, as you may see from behind me I've got one of the CR10s, I've been playing around with it for a little while and I thought I'd give my impressions. What you printing? I'm not doing an unboxing and assembly of the printer because I believe that's been done well enough by people like Preston, uh, Press Reset and um, Freddie Maker Noob. It's done quite a quite good um, one on it. So I thought I'd just go through some of my um, initial impressions and some of my first prints on it. Um, the printer is quite good. Um, it, it's quite stable. There are a few little things I don't like. Um, one's the amount of noise it makes. Um, most of that is the fan and power supply as you can hear behind me. Um, the other thing would be the fact that um, I needed to do a little um, brace to sort of um, strain relief for the um, peer bed wires and the fact that the peer bed does take a while to heat up but it's not that bad if you're just doing PLA and you're not impatient and considering the amount of time you're going to be printing if you print something big on this uh, the amount of time it takes to heat up is uh, a very small portion of what you'd be doing um, I've, unlike Preston I've left the orangey colour stripped on which is supposedly coffee um, by the colour code by the gear best description I don't know how in any way shape or form that is coffee um, if someone served me a coffee if it was that colour I would run away screaming um, but there you go um, so the first print I did was the um, little cat um, the very first one I did wasn't that successful and there we go so the first part worked quite well but as you can see, it's not all there. It does show off how the print is hollow and the sur top surface of the inside layer is very nice and smooth. Um, as you might be able to see, the bottom's a little bit rough. Um, I did try printing on the painter's tape that supplied on the masking tape. Um, it didn't work that well. Um, so the next thing I did was, well, let's rip that off and go printing straight on glass. So we'll just grab that and there we've got a complete cat now from looking at the g-code that has been sliced in Simplify 3d with a 0.1 millimeter layer height so this cat does take a long time to print but as you can see with the glass on there that is a really nice smooth bottom as you can see it's shiny but that's a real, really nice little print once you get it going so after that I printed the maker coin that I posted on um, Facebook a while ago oh, Facebook um, Twitter um, just basically a sort of a low thing with just a WP no question mark um, that printed out quite well now, there is some problems around here that's because um, that's more to do with my design of it than anything else um, and a little bit of stringing on it. This is with the PLA once again that it comes with. After that, I decided let's try something a little bit bigger. Um, people who follow me on Twitter probably would might have seen a link to the live stream where I decided to print the Benchy at 400%. It didn't go that well. As you can see, um, it's a bit missing. Um, the, the power went out. Now, at first I thought I left this running over because uh, it was running overnight. And when I woke up, the power was out, like for the house. Um, and I thought, oh geez, there's something wrong with the wiring in the um, printer. Um, so I turned the printer off, unplugged it, reset the power to the house, and it still didn't come on. It just still tripped. I was like, well, it's not plugged in, so it's something else. So I spent the next hour and a bit unplugging things, eventually finding out that the outdoor fridge, um, which we put drinks in, has gone kaput. Um, so this one I did print with support, um, and even just removing it out of this part here was a massive pain, and I thought with the lid the roof on the um, benchy it's going to be nigh impossible to get off so 
I looked at what was done so far and went, well that works reasonably well. The only possible problem part might be across the front here. And I thought, well, let's just try it without support. So I ran it again. And we have a nice 400% Benji. Um, nice clean bottom. And look, you can clearly read the Freddy Benji on the back, which is the first one I've actually managed to read it on clearly, really clear. And I thought, well, that's good. But one of the things on um, the stream I had as a question was uh, there's a little, I put up a little normal 100% bench sheet, normal size bench sheet um, on the print while I was printing, and people were asking if they could see what the normal size bench looked up close up. And the only problem was that Benchy was not printed on this printer because this was the the fourth printer. I haven't printed Benchy. And I went, mm, okay, I've got to print a Benchy. So I printed a Benchy in purple. And I'll bring up the other camera again. Yep. And it came out okay. This purple though is a bit stringy compared to my other normal filaments. So it's not quite as easy to print with. You can sort of make out the Freddy Benchy in there. It's a might probably won't be able to make it out all on the camera. But you can in person just make it out. Um, so then print it off in a colour that will display it a little bit easier. I printed it off in green. Now it has gone a bit blobby. Now there may be a reason behind this. Um, I printed up a camera holder to go on the bed and go back and forth with the bed. It worked okay until um, I managed to make it so that when the ZX came down, it actually came down on the camera and got stuck and was clunky away for a little while before I realised what was going on um, and actually bent the mount for the camera. Not the actual printed mount, the actual mount on the C920 webcam um, so that's no longer being mounted on the bed anymore <laughs> um, but yeah I'm going to I have also sped up the printing speed up to 60 uh, I'm going to try slowing it down a little bit again and just seeing if that was the um, cause but other than that getting a little bit of lines in there and a little bit of blobbing in it's not going too bad I haven't done anything to change the cooling or anything else, it's still a standard um, hot end setup. I am looking at um, changing it down to um, changing it from Micro Swiss. I have got a Micro Swiss nozzle and freight on the way. Um, so when that comes, that will get installed, and then I'll be able to try printing some other filaments which I can't print on any of my printers yet, um, and we'll see how it goes on there. But anyway. Big Benchy decided I'd have to do something with this other than just printing it, just as it is. And so I decided to look around and look at some accessories on Thingiverse. Now, for the small Benchy, I have printed the waves before. I looked at printing that for the Big Benchy, but that's going to be just shy of a kilo by itself. Um, without um, anything else or any muck-ups so that's on hold at the moment until I figure out whether I want to do that and risk that because that's also has to be printed in that orient orientation on the print bed because it doesn't fit that way at 400% so I can either print it that way or possibly that way might be a better idea so that it moves back and forth for the print bed and there's a bit more stability um, but we'll see um, and so I did print um, another part for the printer um, for allowing flexible filament. Um, that then then printed this in white. Now it might not be clear exactly what that is, but it did work out quite well. And I'll bring up the close up. It worked quite well. And I printed two of these. This is one side, and here is its friend. 
and they go in the boat and become a smokestack. Which is quite cool. Now I'm going to glue them together. They just haven't been glued together yet because I've got to show the nice little surface underneath. And after that, I also looked around and saw that there is a flag. I printed that in two parts. I printed the, the blue thing upright and the black for the flag. And then that just goes in the back of the printer. And we now have a nice cool 400% Benchy. Shows the scale, which is quite nice to look at. And I am thinking about this as I'm thinking up in the ways for it. Just it's a lot of filament and about 70 hours to print it. And that's with going at 60 millimeters a second. Um, so there's a lot of thought has to go into whether I'm going to do that. But that's what I've been doing with the printer. Um, one of the other reasons to show Benchy is I saw on Maker's um, Freddy Maker Noob's stream that he was going. Oh, sorry, Freddy Printing Noob. Um, he was looking at doing a big Benchy on this printer, and I thought, well, I had it printed for a while. I was going to get it video out. So I've now done that, um, and soon I'll show some more video of, of my setup in there because it only just fits and go through why I stopped using the camera mount and lighting which you can probably still see up on there and how I've put the control box in that which is not in its normal location so look forward to that probably next week guys hope you liked the video if you did please like it if you want subscribe there'll be another one coming next Monday if you don't like it dislike it on the YouTube tell me why in the comments always helpful to improve and there's more videos there if you want to have a look and see you next week